housed in the British Library London, is an illuminated codex with 83 small but extremely valuable works of art hidden away inside. It was made in the early 14th century in Normandy. An artistic treasure in a unique style. The Val d'Eau Apocalypse. Holding the Val d'Eau Apocalypse, one is transported back to medieval art by touch, smell, and sight. An incomparable sensory pleasure. The sophisticated half-page miniatures inside the manuscript illustrate different episodes of the apocalypse, showcasing remarkably expressive, realistic figures and an extremely delicate palette. This manuscript is singular on two counts. It is the only one in a group of four Norman Apocalypse codices to feature miniatures upon decorated grounds. And it includes a French translation of the text, possibly at the request of its patron. Of all biblical texts, the Apocalypse has the greatest wealth of iconography and symbology. Over the centuries, the striking content of its different episodes has inspired a variety of interpretations and generated great interest. And the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound the trumpet. And the first angel sounded the trumpet, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and it was cast on the earth. And the third part of the earth was burnt up, and the third part of the trees, and all green grass was burnt up. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, and he cried out with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen and is become the habitation of devils and the whole of every unclean spirit and the whole of every unclean and hateful bird. And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Despite its undeniable artistic value and beauty, this pictorial gem is not on display in any museum, because being a bound codex, its 83 miniatures cannot be displayed at the same time. Nor can it be consulted due to its immeasurable value as a work of art. Knowing this, M. Moleiro the world's most prestigious publishing house in facsimiles of ancient codices, decided to clone the Val d'Eau Apocalypse. This edition employs the original techniques, and its illustrations are embellished with gold and silver. It even reproduces the holes nibbled in the parchment by woodworm. The leather used to bind the manuscript and make its protective case is tanned in the same natural way as in the Middle Ages. In other words, this facsimile is virtually indistinguishable from the original. Collating with the original is a very complicated and painstaking task. In its time, the manufacture of a codex was a titanic endeavor in terms of art history, finance and human resources. Suffice to read the words handwritten at the end of the Beatus of Liebana, the Codex of the Monastery of San Domingo de Silos by its scribes. The scribes' work ruins the eyesight, curves the back, breaks the ribs, and hurts the stomach, causes pain in the kidneys, and upsets the whole body. The Val d'Eau Apocalypse has survived the passage of time thanks to its outstanding artistry. M. Moledo has cloned it so you can enjoy it as if you had the actual original in your hands, now and in the future. The Valdeo Apocalypse by M. Moleiro Editor is the first, unique, unrepeatable and limited edition consisting of 987 copies, each certified by Notary Public. Its full-colour companion volume is the work of the internationally acclaimed experts Darren Burroughs, Carlin Griffith 
and Nigel John Morgan.